it. We saw the estate sale sign already. Mom wants to start being proactive, so she's already riding so. But how cool could we make up DIYs out of that? That was a rush, Mama. I'm in love with this man. Like, love. I need to move in so that I can go through all of my stuff so I can stop buying. <laughs> This is the first time I'm talking this morning. I'm already ready. So I've been up for a while. I've already had coffee. Today is a very big day of just finding things. The third Friday of every month is the Fredericksburg Trade Days Flea Market. That's today. So we're going there, but my mom and I were looking online and there's an estate sale, a really good one in Kerrville, which is a completely different town. We're going early to stand in line at the estate sale with, and there's a whole bunch of tools there. And it's like, there's old stuff that we like. Um, and a whole bunch of tools, like a 32 by 40 foot workshop where he like redid old horse-drawn carriages or something. I don't know, we can't miss it. So we're going there first, see what we can find with my dad too. And then we're gonna head to the um, straight to the flea market after. So it's gonna be a very big day of finding things. I don't know what I'm looking for. You never know what you're gonna find. Okay, it's late. She wants to come. Mama, are you, you so papers? excited? You got papers to write solo on it? Paper? I got the tape. Let me grab my purse. You don't have your purse? Oh, I have my little thing. How is she supposed to buy anything? <laughs> that don't make no sense. We don't know if we're gonna get in trouble for this. But mom had this idea that every time we go to estate sales, or I mean, really like the, the one other time, people kept trying to take our stuff. So we brought Pater's tape and Sharpies to write sold on the tape and then put it on the thing. I don't think they were taking it. They were, they were, they they were, were asking how much. much. Is this? And I had the because we would take the price tags off because that's what they told us to do well right but then they were trying to give people prices on the stuff that we wanted you think there's gonna be a lot of people how much you, you want to bet how many like a number i don't know what, what what 20. okay the winner gets to walk in first walk in first to where oh are you already walking in first yes. <laughs> i taught you to walk why don't you ever walk let me walk in first Oh, I let you walk in first every single time. Oh, you, you lost it. You lost your mind. I think I have. I think you have. How many people do you think? Uh, 20. Am I not going fast enough for you? I can only go as fast as this truck in front of me. Do you know what this means? It means go around him? Go around him. Okay, we saw the estate sale sign already. Oh, I see another sign. Oh, I see oh. people parked on the sides. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten, eleven? Not bad. You're going? I'm going. Mom wants to start being proactive, so she's already writing sold on the tape. I'm just so glad. She's already writing sold on the tape. Yeah. She's. She says I'm being proactive. <laughs> well, it was only tape, you know. Mm. <laughs> you know. That's not that bad. That's not very many people. No, as many as I thought there were. No, I th I, we thought 20. I thought 20. She thought 20. 25. I'll pull everything we like. I don't want to come on too strong. Yeah. I'm always worried to stay too long. What's on your mind tonight? I love it when we can laugh together That kind of thing, it just makes me feel better I'm gonna give this just one try oh, What if I told you you took my breath away? And what if I told you I wish that I could stay? Is it a mistake or my heart breaks? Let's 
for the guest cottages and old Monopoly set. So, I pulled everything I liked from inside the house. Let's go look at the workshop. Mama, did you see these? I wanted to ask you if you thought that would look good on Mommy Mary and Charlie. I think so. I think I could fix them on. I think they're neat. They're, they're a different shape. Go ahead. I don't have. Look, here's you some picture wire. What are those? They're, I know. They're <gasps> wheels. But how cool could we make like DIYs piece. out of that? What could we? Five dollars a piece. What would you make out of that? I don't know. Like a, I see like one of those macrame hangings. I think that's neat. I think we need a couple of these to make some art. For Look at all that wood. What if I told you I wish that I could stay? What if I told you you took my breath away? Oh my gosh, what a rush. That was a rush, mama. Wasn't that a rush? <gasps> I got everything good. So mom went with dad in the workshop and dad got some really cool things like lifts and- And McKenna got everything in the house. No, 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 no. I pulled, <laughs> when I told her, I said, I'm gonna pull everything that we would like and then we can go through it. And anything you want, you can have. I just claimed the mixer. I have you to did. show you. you the yeah, mixer. I, w I saw it in the picture and I wanted it and I was hoping it would work. It works. It's just so cool. And I got a whole bunch of like old games and you can't buy games, bank game boards, like games are expensive. You can't buy them for cheap. And these were cheaper than that and way cooler. Like that Monopoly is old. I got some little bitty spoons. I got a shovel. I got a, a cutter <laughs> for my bamboo. I broke my <laughs> shovel. I got some little I hope tools. It's heavy duty. Heavy I know. Duty. So now we are on. We are a 32 minutes drive to Fredericksburg to the flea market. I want to roll. Wanted that mixer That's with the milk mixer. glass bowls. Yeah, so cute. And it's a hand mixer too. Do you see it comes off? Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm jealous. I know. Obsessed. Obsessed. Oh, look at all the people. Oh, oh no. <laughs> We made it! Oh, we have to get our yearly pass. Yes. It's January. I need money. Thank you. Thank you very much. We made it, but it's 70. It's supposed to be beautiful today, so it's 70 degrees, so I'm not bringing my jacket. It was so cold this morning, though. Fritters first, and tea. I'm a little bit hungry. I don't think I have any more coffee. <gasps> we didn't bring our basket. Oh, because we got so in the rush. Oh, well, honestly, I hate rolling it. Well, <laughs> okay, we have a new method. We're going to Fritter our favorite. second. Fritter second. <laughs> yeah, we're actually doing Fritter second now. Yeah. Because we have to go, since we're running like a little bit later than normal. Uh, fritters may have to wait. Fritters will have to wait just while we go to two specific places. I'm going to go to Lost Cow and then Duo. Then fritters really fast and then you are why are you running i'm just, excited this is i love happy this place. I, I love this friday some people go to the beach some people go to the mountains we go to the flea market flea market yeah i forgot to message this guy i need this tub i need the size yay we made it hi we came to see you first hey, hi <sighs> Good, how are you? We came to see what you have. We didn't know if you were gonna be here or not because of your house. Look how cute this ball is. That, I need this. <gasps> oh, <it's so> <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty milk glass. Look at this little sweet little white bell. Right here, it's gone. Oh. Hi, princess. I'm sure it's you. 
Oh, oh look at these vintage lids. I had something that you need a lid to. See where you put the little shelves? Oh yeah, that's so cute. And then you could put it above the bed. And then hooks? Yeah, above the bed and hang stuff from it. That's so neat. Okay, well since we have to pass the fritters, we might as well get a fritter and a tea on the way to our next stop. We're gonna do two teas and two fritters, please. Okay, no problem. Oh yeah, she's open. Okay, <laughs> remember what I said. What did you say? I'm first. What? I just oh, because you didn't find anything at the flea market? Oh, okay. This one time, I let you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she's so upset. She really didn't find anything at the state sale. I got all the good I stuff. Go I let Dad. you have. I, had to go I know, but Dad found such amazing things. I'm so happy. Oh, look at that little chair for Robbie. Oh. She's always got such good stuff. Oh, I don't have a house. <laughs> How much is this little bell? Eight? You know, I think that even if it is like this size, I think it's like 10 or 15. Little baskets. But do we, this mirror? I like those. So don't despair. Is it eight holders or two? Yeah, holders. Sisney. Everything's so cute. I love that. But how many silver? They're really unique though. There's a spider in this bowl. But look how cool the sink is. Does that say five? Uh, I'm sure I am. Yes. What about that one? second trip back to the car. We keep saying we're gonna rearrange. We'll rearrange. We've already found such good stuff. I, I am glad that we went to the estate sale this morning because I felt like it was different. We It wasn't something that we see all the time. And now we're off to barn three and I need some more tea. I rhymed again. Ugh. You what? I rhymed. <laughs> I need some more tea and we're off to barn three. Oh, okay. Hickory oh, it's actually two. We're off to barn two. I was yeah, getting confused. There's zero. Yeah, it's zero, one, two, three. This is so weird. Uh oh. Oh my gosh! Does he have one? I don't think so. Oh, fifty dollars. Oh my gosh! Oh, I don't know what that is. Egg crate. It says Willie. I always look at his trunks. I always like them. So many places are closed. Like look, all these places are closed. And in their defense, there's really not a lot of people here, so it makes sense. But like, I can't look anywhere in this stuff. Look what I got. A stool. <laughs> For 12 bucks. You can't find stools, mama. Like no joke. Like you can't find them. But everything else usually in here is all broken. <laughs> I need chairs, but look how broken they are. Broken, broken, broken. But Dang. it's got, see how it's gotten so dirty on the Yeah. You know what it's gonna take to clean this out? Right when I gave it to him. Yeah, it's how just gotten dirty. It is wood. Yeah, it's solid. That's why I wanted it, see, because this stuff here, you know, that's not a paste thing on it. That's, no. That's the carve. It came out of Fantas some antique place in San Antonio. I'm in love with this mantle. I can just caulk it a little, clean it up, paint it. Isn't that pretty? I was gonna make my own, but this is just beautiful. Like, love. Let me know what you think. I've gone back and forth about it being too ornate. You don't want me to show everybody my favorite person? Yeah, if they come over here and buy everything. For yeah, you have to come see Robert at the flea market. Yeah, this, not, this is trade days. It's not oh, trade days. okay. I hear it. See, I know, that's I why do I quit call it a flea market. You you <laughs> I'm not watching. I, you think this quality of stuff is at a flea market? No. Oh, like, this yeah. is Fredericksburg. If you guys think this is a flea market, <laughs> 
So you have to come see Robert at the Fredericksburg trade days because he has a lot of old stuff that, and he always finds me stuff. I told him about you, you sending me those wheels. Yeah, but it's so nice. Is it like trash? Like someone just left it here. It's rough, but the paint's already coming off anyways. We have a lot of like random this. He's the only one that can go to a flea market and get a Neiman Marcus bag. <laughs> from 1987. <laughs> it's I love it. Well, that was successful. We're going to come back on Sunday and um, pick up the mantle. I was like, wait, I want this. I need this. This is mine. It's no, it's I mine. It's mine. I don't money. have any money to pay for it, though. <laughs> he loves me, though. He's so nice. He always finds me like the most random things. He's so friendly. He's just like the nicest human. He is. He's so He's sweet. He's so sweet. Mm. We stopped and got Pizza Hut because we were hungry. So we're eating pizza real fast and we'll unpack the car and do a haul. I don't even know. I don't know what I bought. I sure don't know what you bought. I know there was a picture frame. <laughs> <laughs> I know there was a picture frame. like we have a shopping addiction. <laughs> I think we always have had that. Let's do a little haul. Okay, so these are in front of me. So let's start here. I don't know. Okay, these were at the estate sale in the workshop because he refurbished or built horse-drawn carriages. So these are uh, something to do with the wheels, how he made the wheels or parts of a wheel. I'm not sure, but I just thought they could be really cool wall hangings. They're just pieces of wood. They were five bucks. You know, I just, I feel like that could be something we could work on, like a DIY project. I even, in my head, I was like, it could be cool like that, like to make like something architectural. Who knows? Five bucks. So I got them. There was a whole bunch of them, but we just... My mom and I just decided on, we'll get two, we'll have like a little project or whatever. I got this, I got this stool at the flea market. She wanted 15, my mom said 10, she said 12, I said okay. I have looked for years at the Rose Bowl flea market, all around LA, all the time. I look for stools and I've only ever found one more and it was recently, also at trade, trade days, I found this stool and it makes me so happy every time I see it. This one I got for 20 bucks and this one I can see next to the clawfoot tub in the primary bathroom. And this one, I just see like, it's like an artist stool. Like next, I'm like doing a DIY or something, I don't know. Loved it. Oh yeah, I actually got these for you guys. I got these for the pop-up shop. So these are little, small, little, lanterns and I'm very into lanterns I just I just like lanterns I have a couple of big ones actually look how sweet isn't that the sweetest thing I got two two like this look how nice that is I thought that was so sweet I might keep this one for myself I don't know but isn't that cute they were like five she wanted five dollars for them and I think she, since I got all three she gave me a deal or something like that I can't remember this you guys this mixer, I went specifically to that estate sale for this mixer. I went straight in and straight to find it. It was $25, Hamilton Beach Model G. It's incredible. It's in really good shape for how old it is. And also, it has the, I have the bowls. 25 bucks for the mixer and the milk glass bowls. Look at this. Small, is this a small one? I think this is a small one. Here's the large one. Look at that, you guys. I just, I had to have it. I saw it in the picture for the estate sale. I had to have it. Not only does it mix like this, this also comes off and it becomes a hand mixer. I've never owned a mixer in my life. I couldn't not have it. I have the blades, I know I do. It's, it's somewhere and mixed. <laughs> Look at this. 
it was in really good shape. I mean, it's clearly older. If you guys know any information, I'm going to look it up too. But if you guys know anything, it works. I plugged it in when we were there. If you guys know anything about this particular one or if it's a really good one or maybe it's not, who knows? But I loved the look. I love that it came separate. Also, they had tons of board games, like tons. And I really wanted board games, like fun, cool, old board games. So I got Yahtzee for five bucks and all the pieces were there, even their scores. I love that. Rummy Royale, family, a family fun game. This old Monopoly, it also has all of its pieces. I wonder when this is from, like, like what year is this from? $8 for the big one, $5 for the smaller one. I thought they would be so, look, they look old, don't they? Oh yeah, okay. I got a set of silverware or pewterware. I don't think it's silver. There's no 925 on it. Detail that was on this silverware was so cool and unique. It looks like pewter, no? Like it, and I asked the lady, I was like, can you eat with these? Like it was a set, look how whimsical the forks are. Like look how long the stem is. Isn't that cool? I just thought that they were so unique. They were so neat. And she had a marked 36, but she, I think she gave them to me for 28 or 30. I mean, for my purposes, I think that they would be really pretty for just like photography and you know, like when I style stuff and I just, I, I like to have stuff like that. I asked her if she, um, they were food safe and she couldn't tell me yes or no for sure. Let me know what you guys think that these are. I don't think that we would use these for food. I would just have them as a pretty set for purposes, photography purposes and stuff. Ooh, look at this from Duo Trading. Okay, I know I've said I need to stop buying brass because I have a lot of brass. I know, but then I see a brass thing that I don't have yet, like shape that's different or unusual. <laughs> I have a problem. So I got this one, but it's a candle holder, but look how cool this is. It like kind of turns and it, it was different. It was different. I also got this set of brass utensils. Um, I thought that they would be really cool to like hang in the pantry or, you know, have like on like kind of strung or more of decorative pieces. Um, I'm sure you could use this stuff though. Like, oh yeah. Okay, this was pretty. This was a this cute decorative bottle, 16 ounces, five bucks. I got this from the Lost Cal. You see the numbers, the measurements are on the glass. I thought this was so cool. I got these. I've actually seen these at the Lost Cow several times. And I don't know why I haven't bought them. I'm just like, oh, those are pretty. Oh, those are pretty. But she has so much pretty stuff that I just, I've just never bit the bullet. But I got three of these sweet scallop plates. They're just pure white. Um, they were only three bucks a piece, but look how pretty the rims are, the scallop part. Then I got a sink, the final sink. Though this bathroom will obviously be different than the others, but I want each guest cottage to have its own identity. Um, they all to complement each other, but like me and little Stout Louie have fun in each cottage. This is all the plumbing stuff. But the sink was, okay, this sink was on a singer, an old singer sewing machine, but the sewing machine wasn't in it. It was just the singer table with the singer iron on the bottom. I didn't want that. <laughs> Beautiful, it has a, kind of like an emblem on the back of it, you see it? Like an imprint, which is so cool. Can you imagine that sitting, it's gonna be more of a vessel sink, like sitting up on the granite or countertop. Um, and it's signed with the person that made it on the bottom. So cool. Uh, I just, it was just so organic and different. I also got this whole basket of stuff. <laughs> I did, I got a whole basket. What's in here? There's nothing in here. Oh, I took my bowls out. Look at my milk glass bowls. I know, isn't it epic? I went straight for that milk, uh, that mixer. Oh, here, here's your extension cord. Oh, yay. See, that's how my day started out. <laughs> Buying extension cords? Okay, so when we were back there in the workshop, I, I got some just tools that I, I need that I don't have here. I got some wire strippers because I'm gonna be installing some lights for three bucks. 
I got a awl or a, an ice pick. Uh, we called it an awl in fashion. I, I need it for stuff. I, I find myself needing one of these. I got a wrench. Needle nose pliers because I need them when I, when I work on the windows to pull out the old um, little points. Uh, oh, here's three things. Look. I also got this. Look how cute this little. Um, I never saw that. I gave it. I said you want it. No, 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 no. This was at the estate sale. That was so cute. I didn't get to go in the good part of the estate sale. I said I'll pull everything that we like, and then you can have anything you want. All you wanted was the frame. So I got this. This was six dollars, but I thought it was such a pretty shape. I love the nozzle. Yeah. Did I get this? Yeah. I must have been in a buy-in mood. I got another extension cord, a green one. I thought of Christmas, so I was like, I need this. Eight dollars. Eight dollars? Is that good? Yeah, extension cords aren't cheap. No. Yeah, so I got that. Also got Romeo a passport holder. It says passport. It's leather. United States of America. Five bucks. Look how nice that is. He can put like... Well, it's for credit cards, but I got this set of linens. I need to move in so that I can go through all of my stuff so I can stop buying. <laughs> Look how pretty this is. Oh, yes, it is. Is that not precious? Uh, apples? I got apples? Why did I buy apples? She didn't buy apples. That's how. She didn't want me to get anything. She bought wooden apples. I don't really don't know. I think I was in a happy buying mood. I got apples. I mean, I thought that they were super organic and cool. Like, I think they're cool. They're with two bucks. I really am gonna stop buying brass, you guys. I got a small little candle holder, black brass candle holder. But they were pretty little shapes. They were two bucks. Oh, they were all different. Look how cool. Like, they were little mini ones. Oh, a lid. This was just pretty for like a bathroom on a shelf or something. I got this for the pop-up shop. I said, I think I have one of these already, but it was a, a little set set, a little jug, mini jug, straight corn whiskey. A mason jar. I always get mason jars. Whenever I see them, they, it was a dollar. Whenever I see them, 50 cents, a dollar, because if you buy mason jars, especially the wide mouth ones, I've said this before, but I use this for Kinsley's food. These, look how precious these little spoons were. Is that not amazing? I thought they were so cute. $8. I thought they were so cute. And then this basket <laughs> for eight bucks. <laughs> wow, I thought it was pretty cool. Cause I actually like saw it, liked it. I was like, I need something to carry all this stuff in. Oh, how did I almost forget my mantle? Well, I haven't even paid him yet. Technically I haven't even bought yet. I love it. So here's my thoughts. When I saw it, I instantly was like, what is this? Like just my brain couldn't process how pretty it was. And then the more I looked at it, the it's solid wood. Like all of that detail is actually carved into the wood. So it's not a overlay. I, like I love it. But what I, what I was struggling with is that when I picture our fireplace in the main house, in the main, in the cottage. When I picture it, obviously I wanted, I've always planned on having that overgrouted limestone with the bookcases next to it. And I couldn't picture that mantle being that ornate on that fireplace. It could either look incredibly interesting and f European, or it could look really bad and just fight each other. And I, I just, I just don't know. Just never seen a mantle like that. It's a great price. I can't imagine not having that mantle in my life because I've never seen it. I've never, and I've been looking for mantles for a really long time. I would resorted to wanting to make my own or maybe I don't do the limestone inside but I only do it outside of the house on the outside and then I do it more simplified with the more ornate. Who knows, we're doing this, all these projects ourselves so we could literally do whatever we want. Sorry guys, my camera died. Hi kids. Anyways, I couldn't imagine that mantle within, not in my life. Either we do it in the main cottage or maybe in one of the guest cottages or just have it for, I don't know. I just couldn't pass it up. And then when another uh, girl had walked up and asked about it, I was like, ah, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. I, I just like I had, like I already had 
developed an emotional attachment to it. And I just was like, no, and that is totally mine. I don't care what I do with it. It's just so pretty. I have to have it. I would, that, that's a piece I would dream about. But maybe that's when the best kind of like moments are created in decor is when things are paired that you wouldn't normally expect to go well together, but then they do. And I'm down for trying it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm down for, you know, experimenting with it and seeing if it's going to look good. Because, oh my God, it was just so pretty. <sighs> so my dad and I are gonna go back to the flea market or trade days on Sunday and pick it up and actually pay him for it. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> So we hope you guys enjoyed our adventure today. It was a very eventful video. Subscribe to the vlog if you love vlogs. I do post here twice a week now, Tuesdays and Thursdays. You gonna wish them a happy week? Uh-huh. Did you wish them a happy new year? And if I have the tag, it's my stuff already. It just because I haven't paid for it. That's just the details. Who's your bite, everybody? I guess.